couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, welcome to another guitar trick of the week lesson. In this video, I'm gonna teach you this cool little lick. Okay, and you can end it like this, or like this. Um, you choose your own ending. But the lick itself, when played slowly and without a palm mute, goes like this. And then the ending of your choice. I'm going to show you all three, of course, uh, but let's start. The trick here is that I utilize the open G string with five on the D string to create two different colors of the same note. Okay, and then I can create um, a tremolo feel by um, utilizing these two strings. Now I play it with my fingers, you can play it with a pick, it works fine with a pick, I'm just a finger picker, I'm not that used to a pick. So I pick with my fingers, but you do whatever you want. Um, you start by hammering on three to five on the D string. And then you play the open G string, five on the D string, uh, and an open G string again. So you get... Okay, now you can do it in a legato feel. You can play both of them at the same time. Or you can play them in staccato and just stop pressing the D string when you play the G string. Um, instead of... But both of them sound fine. Okay? You see? Sounds great. So, again, you, uh, I just give you the options. You make your own choices in how to play this. Three hammer on to five on D, open G, five on D, then pull off on three to zero on the G string, and then D string on five again, open G again. So you get. Now this is legato, and this is staccato. Now, um, what I just accidentally played was the open D string between G strings. That's a variation you can use, and I use it in the next lick. The next lick is almost the same thing, but I hammer on from 3 to 5, and then I play the open G string and the open D string as a variation. And then I pull off from 5 to 0 on the, sec on the third string. Okay, and then 5 on the D string, open G string. So the second lick is almost the same with two uh, variations. Open D string. Okay, so you get. Okay, and then the third lick, exactly the same as the first. Okay, so it's. And then the fourth lick, three hammer on to five on the D string, open G string, five on the D string or open D string, your choice. And then a slide from five to seven on the G string or eight to uh, six to eight on the second string or both. And that's it. And then uh, right before I play it, just remember that I didn't talk about the palm mute. Um, you palm mute, I palm mute the D string. Uh, so I get two different, two completely different colors of the G note. But you can mute both of them. And then let it go when you play the slide. You can mute the D string by itself. See? And then you get a half muted sound. Do whatever sounds good. And after you practice this, you can take it two frets up and try it on A. Okay, it sounds a little bit different because it's a different harmony, um, but um, it's a variation. You can try it on different strings. Let's say strings A and D on five. See, works. Let's try it here. 
See, it's a pattern that you can use. You can also use it, you can use a part of it in a solo that you play. Okay, you can use it as a pattern to add to solos. Just take the pattern, play around with it and see what you come up with. Before you go practice this though, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons waiting for you already and I upload a new one every couple of days. And go download the tab from the website. The link is right below in the description and the tabs are for free of course, just like this lesson, just like everything else on Lick and Riff. It's free guitar education because I want the world to learn music. That's my goal in life uh, for some reason. I don't know why, but it is. But if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff and help out in making these free lessons, there's a large blue donation button right above the tab. You can't miss it. It's a large blue donation button that says donate. Uh, and if you want to give something back and help out, I'd be more than grateful for your help and everything goes right back into making these lessons. So you go, uh, go. You go have fun with this and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching. Have fun.